Alrighty. Hi everybody. Everybody that's new and old in here and out there and everywhere. I have been asked by Earth Mama to do a little reading on Putin. And I'm going to try it. We'll see how it works. So, I want to thank you for the question. I haven't done any readings for a while. So what do we have on Putin? What can you tell us about Putin? Alrighty. It's just sunset. <clears throat> I'm in the Arizona desert. And my tripod is a little uncertain. But we will go for it. I hope my little table is big enough. If not, we'll make some sort of adjustments. But so many people are reading. I don't know if my readings will be redundant. And a lot's going on in the world. And has been for a while. Alrighty then. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Four of Cups. Hmm, he's being offered something that he does not want. He's refusing to see the cups that are still there, that are still full. He wants more. He doesn't want that. He wants more. Hmm. He wants more than what he's been offered. Let's see what he's up to. Ah. <coughs> Eight of Swords, he's being held prisoner either by his own imagination, his own mind. He can easily take this, the bindings off, but he's being held, he thinks he's being held as a prisoner. Hush, hush. Sorry about that. Puppy dogs are here with me. He's trying to steal something that is not his. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> the King of Cups is the basis. Now this can be also a doctor. The basis. He might think that he has no more time. He's sick and he's running out of time. Or it could be it, a health person, an advisor, a wise advisor. Here, here. Come here. Come here, Joe. You come loose. Just man it. Okie dokie, we'll try it for a minute. Where was I? The king. The king of cups. Yep, yep, yep. Alrighty. <laughs> right now he's crying the five of cups. He's crying over spilt milk. He wishes he had never started this thing. He thought the time was right. He thought he could get away with it. And by golly, it's causing a lot more trouble than he thinks it should. Bear. Hush. Alrighty. He has a choice. He can go one way or the other. But he has to decide. He has to decide which direction he wants to go. And his, he's blinded. He's being blinded. Of course by his ambitions for one thing. But he is being blinded. The Queen of Swords, the Justice is coming after him, man, and she is someone who can chop his head off. Wow. She is a she, and the Queen of Swords don't mess around. She's a great ally. Or she can be very destructive toward you. Let's see what his, his fears are. 
Oh, he's worried about the Six of Swords getting to calmer grounds, getting to safer waters, trying to row away into safer waters. This is the way the world sees him. This is his environment. They see him as hoarding things. He's trying to hoard a bunch of company or countries. He's also hoarded a bunch of money from his country, from Russia. Let's <clears throat> see what his hopes and dreams and wishes. Darkest fears. A page of cups of some message of endearment. He wants to be admired. He wants to be cared about. It's a young person. Hmm, maybe he's wanting a young person to care about him, but it's, pages are usually messages, messages, a proposal of some sort is what he's, he's thinking about. Final outcome? Ten of Swords. He's going down. He's, wow. Being stabbed in the back, he's going down. That's what happens to Putin. I don't know when. But anyway, that's a quickie read on him. I'm going to go ahead and go. And thank you for the question. Uh, obviously not the ideal place to read. <laughs> so, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.